Hello everyone, welcome to Arts for Peace Awards YouTube channel. And today is the fifth day of uh, Nutrition Week. And my honor to be here. And my subject today is headache. What causes headache? I'll share with you, uh, since I've been around too long, <laughs> treated a lot of people. Headache is caused by he stress. Physical, emotional, mental stress. Stress can cause headache. Uh, sitting in front of the computer is a stress, right? Can cause headache. Eating wrong food is stress, can cause headache. Uh, you need to monitor what food is not agreeing with you so you can avoid it. Eating too much chocolate can give you headache. Eating a lot of sugar can give you headache. If you not have enough protein, you'll get a headache. I'm one of them. If I don't eat protein three times a day, I have instant headache, just like that. So I am very aware of it. So I try to avoid it. I know I need it. My body wants it. I'm so active. Uh, so I make sure that I have headache. Headache is also caused with makeup. You know, when the woman wear lashes can give you headache because the glue is toxic, right? So it just causes headache. Headache is also caused when you have too much makeup on. When you put your hair in an updo, it can cause headache. Um, you tie your hair in a ponytail and the hair was wet, it can give you headache. Headache can also cause when you don't shampoo your hair, especially women with long hair, um, they don't shampoo your hair. So if you don't shampoo your hair, uh, like all the heat goes to the head, it makes sense, and it causes headache. So you, when you are showering, if you don't want to shampoo, at least you should wet it to, to let it be there and let the heat comes out from the scalp because it's a lot of body heat that uh, we have on our scalp. Most of the tints and colors, and sh they all process with the body heat. So you have to keep that in mind, uh, what the body heat does to us. So headache can cause with many, many reasons. You have too much alcohol, and next day you have a hangover, you're gonna pay with headache, right? So be aware with the headache. And headache is not something you want to take it for granted. You might have a tumor. So if you're having chronic problem and having headache, uh, what do you have to lose, right? Check it out. And you have nothing to lose. And then at least you have an option to go for alternative medicine. Or you want to go this way, you want to get that way. That's your life. So head headache is not something you should take it lightly. Um, I have a collection of hats. I have a lot of hats I wear, uh, but I cannot wear a hat that's very tight to my scalp. When I was a little girl, I could never wear something very tight to my head. You know, all the bows, I always had something in my hair, but never too tight it, because it gave me headache. So now I'm so aware of it since I've been in the business for so long. So the woman has to be a little bit more aware. Um, men usually, they get in the shower and they always wetting their hair. But the woman has this. So but with me, you know, I'm, I'm always uh, shampooing my hair. I work out every day and my hair, I keep it short and easy for me to take care. So headache is not something you want to take it for granted. Please check it out and see um, what you can do. So, but there's a reason for headache because it's not normal to have a headache, right? And then basically, I put it down like a stress, physical stress, emotional stress, psychological stress, any kind of stress, food stress can cause headache. And chemical stress can cause headache. So if you understand that, then you can study your own body. See, it's hard for someone to tell you what to eat. Let's say you ate an egg. And after that, you felt like, you know, the body is not feeling well or uh, you have some symptom. Oh, I'm getting minor headache. Uh, so monitor it. So then, you know, that's not the right food. So it, some people eat too much sugar. They can get headache. So you have to monitor your own body and your own thing and see what 
can you do to avoid it? You know, you, not to have it. So if you're getting headache after the hangover, so why you have to drink it to that point where you have a hangover? So avoid it, then you know your body doesn't want it. So why challenge it? Then you have to pay the price for that, you know? Is it all worth it? You decide, you know? For me, it's not worth it. For, I believe in optimum care. So I'm going to um, give you a second part where I will give you some um, things you can do for headache, massaging and uh, uh, taking care of uh, your, um, your, your scalp, taking care of your body important to avoid headache. So stay tuned, I'm gonna give you a second uh, uh, part where I will show you how to uh, do your massage on the scalp so you can be fit and healthy and don't have to have a headache. Circulation is important, you know, whether you have head, body, whatever, so you have to circulate. I invert every day, okay? So when I'm inverting, I also hang every day. So when I'm inverting in this position, I'm always massaging here, see? By massaging here, I'm going to, I have a video I will show you. So when you're massaging, and by this invert machine, it's inexpensive and it's great. A lot of my family start buying because I keep telling them, look, I, I used to have um, reading glasses. They just went away. I had like uh, 1.25, I was very little, but I don't have it no more no need it it just slowly 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 just went away and the only thing i have added myself was inverting i've been doing inverting for last uh, maybe two and a half three years and uh, i'm planning on keeping up as part of my routine because i know i've seen the results on myself so giving massage uh, regularly on your scalp is important and check your scalp make sure your scalp is soft if the scalp is tight you can give you headache so health of the scalp is very, very important. Even a lot of hairdressers don't understand it. And that makes a big difference on perming, on coloring, on shampooing, all of this stuff. You have to be aware of the condition of the scalp. If it's soft or if it's hard or it's medium. So, but the tight scalp is, see when people lose hair, what happened? The scalp becomes like this, tight, shiny, smooth, right? that there's no more pores left, there's no elasticity left, and it's tight. So the, the follicles cannot uh, grow from their point. So if you keep the scalp healthy, the hair will stay healthy too. So my heart to your heart, love and peace.